Hey there, Cancer. This is a general reading for April 2022. We're going to be looking at messages from your subconscious as well as messages about your expansion, growth, and new directions for you. In April, there are some interesting things going on. There is the Jupiter-Neptune conjunction, which really is about opportunities to dream big. With Neptune, there is uh, intuition, dreams, mysticism. Um, with Jupiter, it rules abundance, expansion, growth, higher learning, and in April there are two new moons, so two opportunities for uh, new beginnings, one on the 1st and one on the 30th of April. So let's take a look at what you have here terms of messages from your subconscious, where you need to be. Acknowledge how you are feeling. Have faith universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome for all involved. So basically wherever you are, just go with the flow. You're where you need to be. You have here the Three of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Ace of Cups. So it seems that, uh, yeah, the universe is giving you some type of gift, some opportunity that has to do with um, you creating something, perhaps um, working with others uh, regarding some kind of talent, skill that you have. So we'll be doing some clarification of that later but let's see what we have in the area of expansion and growth you have phoenix transmutation so it is a sense of rebirth creating something new um out of something old you have the seven of wands the queen of cups and the two of cups so whatever this transmutation relates to it definitely has to do with uh, an emotional relationship and with the seven of wands it's a sense of possibly trying to you know keep keep a relationship going but something maybe has to change with that um, you have, you know, Seven of Wands is kind of like standing your ground, but this card over here is basically indicating, well, this does say where you need to be, but yeah, and that the universe will kind of resolve things. Um, but it's, I, I think there is at least some flexibility that needs to be going on there. So we'll, we'll clarify that. And then you have here for new beginnings, you have never ending story. So this kind of indicates a certain narrative where maybe you're the victim or everything, you know, um, doesn't work out for you, or it could even be a relationship that won't end like back and forth. You actually do have the King of Wands, the two of pentacles and the queen of wands which seems like a negotiation of this relationship so let's let's dig into this let's look at the magician over here in terms of where you need to be um actually the, where you need to be has to do with this the change has to do with this so that was just me making a note of maybe there is more than just being flexible that needs a change. We'll see. Okay. 
Magician, you have the world card. So whatever it is that you are communicating, manifesting, you are really, the universe really wants to support you and make this happen. Um, let's take a look at the Ace of Cups. You have the Empress. So if for some of you that are, you know, looking for um, to bring life into this world, it seems like you are on target for that. Let's see what the Three of Pentacles is about. Eight of Wands. So whatever it is that you are trying um, to make happen, it is going to happen fast. With the help of others, it could happen even faster. So I don't know why I was thinking of IVF or something like that, but... Um, yeah, I would say in this process of whatever is going on, feel free to express your feelings. Um, if there are any, yeah, you can express yourself freely. That would probably even help how you are creating, but uh, you're pretty much well protected in whatever it is that you are trying to make happen. Um, congratulations on that. All right. So transmutation, in order to grow and expand, something's gonna have to change. So let's take a look. Let's look at the Queen of Cups here. King of Wands, which is over here as well. So this, um, this fiery King of Wands Really, you have your emotions wrapped up in this individual cancer. So let's take a look at, let's take a look at the seven of wands over here. You have the nine of pentacles. So in the process, whatever it is that you're doing, um, it's just... Be sure that you are feeling confident, independent. It seems like you are. You've got a lot going on for you. Um, but, oh, that's interesting. I was just looking at the Nine of Pentacles, and it's got this peacock here, and then you have this transmutation Phoenix card here. So, um, it could be really how you are, how you are feeling about things. It's like you really have things going good for you. Um, you should be feeling confident. You should be strutting your stuff. Um, but it's almost like you are preparing for something, um, maybe maybe it has to do with whatever never-ending story that you're telling um maybe something in the past maybe things have really not worked out your way when it comes to relationships or relationships with fire signs um but really it's just make sure you recognize how how awesome you are let's look at the two of cups you have eight of pentacles so in terms of whatever is going on um, when two people want to be together they both put in that effort they both work on it so just if you are the one that's kind of providing the stability for this or kind of trying to keep it going um just recognize that you should still speak 
honestly and if someone else is not putting in their weight or not really appreciating it the way you do um, perhaps let them know so let's look at the king of wands over here in this never-ending story because this, this section is about new beginnings um, so let's look at this king of wands you have the strength card so really it's it's almost as if you need courage to highlight the good parts about yourself um, and maybe you've been kind of dumbing yourself down um, making yourself um, not dumbing yourself down trying to not really acknowledging truly how you're feeling or what you're thinking because you are really maybe in awe of this person um, because it might be because they bring out a side of you that is driven, more passionate, um, more sassy, and you like that. But if that's who you are, then that's who you are, and you don't need someone else to bring that out. Um, so let's take a look at the Queen of Wands over here. You have the Knight of Wands. So, yeah, I, I am kind of sensing that you want to have some adventure, that this King of Wands is really opening up some things for you. So let's see what the Two of Pentacles is all about. You have the Six of Pentacles, which is about balance, harmony, um, um, recognizing wants and needs. And so here it's kind of back over here with like maybe you're putting more of the effort in um, and really you you not letting, almost you not letting someone put in the effort, meeting you halfway, being part of that relationship, doing the work for them, it really almost diminishes your value. Um, and so if there is maybe some, some aspect of your relationship, the way that you talk about things, the way you, that you even talk to each other or um, the way you relay your feelings or don't relay your feelings. Um, it's, it's as if that aspect actually does need to change, that you need to um, maybe get outside of your comfort zone of being so like put together or trying to keep things together because really you've got a lot of great things going on for you and um, the work that you're putting into this relationship it's not it's not all for nothing but the the concept or the the energy that you're putting in is not serving your best interest and um, kind of allowing them to give and, uh, and allowing you to receive and feel good in that, you know, give and take is something that can strengthen your relationship. So it looks pretty, you know, April is, is pretty good for you. And if anything, it'll, you kind of, allowing yourself to receive 
and have this kind of flow of give and take is really going to allow you to tap into that more passionate side of you um, that's there. So I'm hoping this provides a helpful perspective of the month to get a full view of things. Be sure to check out the readings for your sun, moon, and rising signs. We'll see you next time. Take care.